We're driving through my hometown right now, and this is where I had prom. <laughs> I like to fight a little dirty baby If I opened up and gave them would you hurt me baby I've been feeling like an alien a refugee and outsider I made it I found my little pee <laughs> And I'm trying this I'm fairly positive that I took this clip to prove that Wisconsin follows me everywhere my stomach drop with desire It's no crime I need a little bit of love I meant to say this earlier because um I thought of it while I was on the bus because I was driving through my hometown it's on the bus that I always used to ride to like visit my house or like visit my boyfriend at the time and so it was just bringing back like all these memories and I was realizing that even though I'm in like a place in my life where I feel like I should be doing so much more and like everyone's judging me as to what my next step is, I am doing so much more than I was two years ago. Two years ago me would be so proud of this me. Good morning, you guys. My body is so much tanner than my face right now. Um, I woke up a little bit ago and ate some breakfast. That's remnants of some oatmeal and some coffee. Um, we have a full day ahead. I might get a tattoo tonight. And um, I'm also going to a restaurant, which I'm really excited to try. You see this eczema on my eye? What is date? They smell cute. How pretty these little flowers are. So pretty. So pretty. And this is great people watching. But yeah, today we have a full day. I don't remember everything exactly that we're doing, but I know we're going to like little Tokyo. We are going to go um, walk around. I'm going to try press, which I'm so excited for. Today I'm wearing this dress that I got from Princess Polly. I actually got this to be like my graduation dress. And I have two graduation ceremonies, so I think I'm going to wear this to one ceremony. And then I have like a nicer white dress that I'm going to wear to like the big ceremony. But I like it because you can dress it up and down. Like today I'm just wearing sneakers, some Air Force Ones. But like you can wear heels with this and make it a totally different vibe. Am I ready? I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine around, yeah Now I'm thinking now, now I'm thinking now Might have caught the June blues, yeah I wanna drown myself inside the juice, yeah You know I keep on running from the <laughs> is that the coffee one? Mm, yeah. Or is it the caramel? No, this is the coffee one. Oh. I, think, I can tell that it's really good. Oh, <laughs> oh god, it's getting everywhere. There's some you get used to. Gracias Madre, it's so cute, it's all vegan. And this is a little, um, what do you call? Chimichanga, thank you. I love chimichangas, they're like my favorite thing in the world. And I haven't had one, so this is like an amazing margarita. It's so cute. <laughs> Everyone's not in 
story time of the psychic experience because it was literally so like I don't even know how to explain it that I couldn't not put it in this video I can do a whole story time on this experience if this is something you'd be interested in but oh my god for starters I had thought about seeing a psychic just randomly and I was like let me just google ones around me interesting decision so I'm just googling ones around me I find one that's five minutes away from the place we were planning on eating for dinner so I call her it was a weird phone conversation it was weird I could tell it was her cell phone and I booked one appointment my friend didn't know if she wanted to get her reading done or not so we just booked me okay then we go and by the time we were going it was pitch black it was dark outside and it was in downtown LA and if you know downtown LA it's really weird because like one block will be super cute and then one block will be scary and then the next block will be super cute it's like really strange to walk through because there's just lots of different vibes so we were walking at night in downtown LA to get to the psychic's apartment yes apartment we did not know it was an apartment we thought it was like a normal place where psychics give readings I don't know what is that I don't regardless it was a uh, apartment we get there I get to the door and you need a buzz to let you in like it's like one of those ones where there's a code and like a buzzer thing so I called her and she did not answer so then I called her again and she answered she's like oh the code is blah 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 come on up it's apartment number blah 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 so now we're buzzing into this strange apartment in the middle of somewhere we've never been to go see a psychic so then we go in and my friend is like, um, no, we need to not do this. This is a bad idea. No, no, I don't want to do this. And I was like, stop it. We're doing it. Let's, like, let's just go. Meanwhile, every red flag was going off in my mind. Every red flag was going off in her mind. Both of us were like, what the hell are we doing here? But I was like, you know, I didn't end up getting a tattoo this trip because everyone wanted to rip me off. So let me just get a psychic reading. This is something I want to do. So we go up the elevator. We get to her apartment. We knock on the door. No answer. We slowly open the door and I hear, oh, and then I see a massive black German shepherd, like the ones that like represent death, like just standing there staring at us. And so I thought I was going to die because that's a guard German shepherd. And I just opened the door to his house. Okay. So then she like calls her husband to come get this dog under control. And it all it smells like is cigarettes and like incense. Then we go in and it's literally just a room with two couches, this like table thing, and then um like little baby Jesus statues everywhere. <laughs> there are just like little figuras everywhere. <laughs> little baby Jesuses, the little Virgin Marys, like the little the little statues. They were everywhere. There were candles lit. There was like this little fish pond thing with like pebbles in it and then just like rows of like um essential oils. I was just like very confused. If it, it was like if someone googled spiritual items, bought them all off of Amazon and then just lined them up on a desk, right? Okay. She goes Okay, ladies, pay me. 
<laughs> That's the first thing she says. So um, my dumbass PayPal's her right there and then. I'm like, okay, what's your PayPal? Then she starts doing the reading and girl, let me just tell you, I was shook. She did like a past, present, future reading and a lot of it was like more past and present. But what really freaked me out the most is that exactly what my energy was so focused on in this trip is exactly what she started talking about. So I had been going through a breakup right before I went on this trip and that's like all I was thinking about was this person and this breakup. That's like all I could think about. I just wanted answers about it. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know, okay? I, that's all I was focusing my energy on though, whether that was subconscious or not. And that's all her reading was on. So I did find that so interesting. Everything she said about like past and present was extremely accurate and my future was very bright. So claps to that. I don't know if I believed it all and I also really felt like she was picking up on my feelings and sort of going off of that and like I'm a very expressive person so I was like sobbing obviously and she was like oh my god like like at one point like I started crying and she just went on this tangent about how men are evil and when you get pregnant and then you have babies and then you're not pretty anymore they all leave you and I don't know it was just this very sad tangent and then my friend got her reading done, and I think hers was pretty accurate for her, too. In retrospect, it was less accurate than in the moment. We were both like, <gasps> and then we ran out of there, went out, and we got drinks. But yeah, I just had to give you that little, um, that little tidbit because it was, it was an experience, to say the least. Your money like a mint, laying in my ice like shrimp, make conditions that I'm